Elko Speedway. We have an Elko Speedway Hall of Fame member, John Ostick, has joined us. Hi, John. Hi, good to be here tonight. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Of course, you're out here a lot, aren't you? Yes, I am. We're uh, following the grandkids out here now. Yeah, and Michael and Matt, they've both done so great out here. Yeah, uh, Matthew's kind of taking some time off right now after a crash a couple weeks ago, but uh, Michael's doing very well. Yeah. I know you've been a fan for a long time, but you started out as being an owner here at Elko Speedway. Tell, you about, tell us about how that came all about. Well, back in, oh, about 1976, I bought out uh, Gary Vingi, who was a partner with Bill Owens at the time. And uh, Bill and I ran the racetrack for three, four years, and then I ended up buying Bill Owens out and uh, ended up right, running this till 1980 and then in 81 we bought Raceway Park and we ran both of them till in the 90s. Tell us about what this track was like as far as the facility goes back then compared to now. Oh, there's no comparison. <laughs> the, uh, you know, everything was put together with orange paint and baling wire. Uh, since that, uh, you know, Tom Ryan's come in here and done a tremendous job just by knocking everything down and starting all over and now we've got one of the premier uh, racetracks in the United States. Did you do a lot of promoting yourself? Well, I would call it that but some other people wouldn't. So, you know, we were somewhat successful but uh, uh, it was fun and, you know, that's the thing about in this job, you're, you're doing so many different things, whether it's promotions, the uh, dealing with the drivers and rules, concessions, what have you, advertising, you're just into everything. Yeah. Did you try to bring some real big events here to the track? Oh, yeah, we had, you know, we tried, uh, you know, things like the Green Mamba, you know, uh, Cup Stars we had here, the Allisons were here. In fact, I was just, the other day somebody had a deal on Facebook, something about it, reminiscing with Bobby and Davey Allison, and I remember Davey Allison being here when he was 16 years old. Wow. And uh, my wife and I had to pick him up at the airport and then go pick Bobby up at the Lakeville airport. And we had to sit at the uh, Lakeville airport for about two hours with, with Davey Allison in our van. So we got to know Davey really well, and he was one of my favorite racers. It's, it's, it's a sad but happy memory. How did he do at the track? He did really well. We gave him a piece of junk car and he came from the back and finished, I think it was like third or fourth, so it, it was really good. What were the car counts like when you when you were here? Oh, I think they were, you know, in the 20s, low 20s for late models. Uh, hobby stocks, we got quite a number of them. So, you know, it was good, pretty, pretty similar to today. Um, did you get any long-term relationships with some drivers and get to know the drivers real well at that time? Well, that's one of the good things about this sport. You kind of get to know a lot of people, not only the drivers, the crews, uh, the, all the fans. And uh, to this day, you know, you see all these people still around here. And, and, and it's so good to see all those people because, you know, not that they're close friends or anything, but you see them in all walks of life, and they are your friends. I mean, they're great people. And when you come back today, I see you in the tr here at the, in the crowd a lot. Make you feel good to know you're a big part of this? Well, it is, but it's a, just an exciting place to be, I'll tell you. And, yeah. you know, all the people here are having fun, doing what they do, like to do. It's, it's a very passionate thing, as you well know, uh, but it is a lot of fun. I know that you were very involved in the business side of things, but had you ever thought about maybe getting behind the wheel? Well, I did try that <laughs> once. Back when I was uh, 64 years old, a few years ago, my brother convinced me to buy a, a car, and we uh, ran down at Raceway Park and I was the Rookie of the Year when I was 65. What division was that? In the uh, Enduro type division. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. okay. So what'd you think? Oh, I'd be there today. In fact, I'd be down in uh, on the cup circuit right now, but uh, my wife won't let me do that. Yeah, the pocketbook has something to do with that too. Well, I tell you, it's great to catch up with you, and uh, it's been great to talk to you, and we want to invite all the fans to come out here to Elko Speedway on August 1st with our 50th celebration party here at Elko Speedway. So check it out at elkospeedway.com. Thanks. Thank you.